Rante que ya borrante e cato rante pai e que salom de chata que la risa cante pai a cole pregado e que se sente o e casuza barrata e cali pronto que rezani you're the god of everything no one like you Like you, Holy Spirit, there's no like you, God. Marasikende ili kaziza, anzo garebo sukande. You are not a man. Alusa kurate. Numbers 23:19. You are not a man that you should lie. Neither are you the son of man that should repent of your word. There's no like you. Barete ke luza burakade. E kurando zibla kande. Yanto rege bulaziga. Worship the name of the Lord this morning. Bless his holy name. Marote ke libroza gadi. E kurande se pliga tu rabande ke ila. Azuzande kita rozuge. E kularo te kida baratanda i kasuzani. E kolibro is the God of our settlement. He is the God that is going to settle us in our own land. A kurete gendo libro koziza. E kulere tonde gayalo siba. A kurete geya bali kasende. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Makote rebe gizaza, aika lonto rebote ligirato. Oyato labrika do lekere sosina. Ika lebre ke duli barata jenge lebro kosisani. Ako yeke libra kato, maronto zibele ke ida. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless his holy name. Marate ke lebro kani. E yeku sasani, e yeku sasani barake to. Oh, so pronto ke libra kani. E li karande ke libra to de ke tere ke kalasiza. A yeti la to le girato de ke rendo. Oh, si barande ke li to reke. Lord, I go lebre ke toni, a rosi kabalo tere do. Oh, shima la ke te ufo ko yele do kaila, a kulende re boko zizani. Jesus, a bande, bande, katarande ke lisa sida. Worship the Lord in truth and the Spirit. Worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. Marosa, open up your mind, open up your spirit, man. Open up your spirit, man. Worship God. Worship God, worship God, worship God. Rakote reke tu la pika siza. E to kali barata nde gele bruso seni. E kura tande gele bruza da. Arose ke seni baroti galato. E kulara tande gele bruso suna. Every boy and every girl, bless them in your name. We have not lost any. We have not lost any. Oh, Tabura Kade, bless the name of the Lord for His righteousness. God is faithful in Sitiem. He's faithful in our families. He's faithful over His children. The King is among us. Our Lord, the King of Malika, His protection, His covering is in our overall. You are wonderful. We exalt your holy name. How excellent your name! How powerful your name! His peace is intact around us. We have the joy of the Almighty. We have the joy of God. Thank God, thank Him for the faith you have. Thank you because your faith has not failed you. Thank you because your faith cannot fail you. We rise. 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 We rise.
Thank, thank you for open parase kendoli. Thank you for blessing. Eh rose kendali prokosisa. Ayeke li prokose sendo. O toronte ke li zazani. A rose ki la rose sida. Bless the Lord. For gifted people. For influential people. For help Lord, we worship your name. Thank you for all the that people you sent into my life. Oh, yeah, thank you for all the people that you sent into my life. Bless the Lord for the dominion you have in your life. Bless him for power. Bless him for excellence. Bless him for wisdom. Bless him for discipline. E reke to yeke tu la burasi kadili parata kado leke sisa. Bless the Lord concerning your children. Bless Him for His covering over your children. Bless Him for His covering over our lives. E kote rosi kabuli ratunda. E kewe kuso seni antoka burakote. E kulere kusisa. Ayoske le fruto donde. E kile preke tu ya kuzani. Parosi kende. Ayeki zani. Bless him because the thought of the wicked did not come to fruition over your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because the plan of the wicked is destroyed from day to day. Akolebre kosa, akorasi sani. Epo la rosi katole karata. Epo lebre kado. O Jesus sani le kurate zizani. Ika la parose bila kote. Ieko kila rat sani geli oko zizani. By the God who does great wonders. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Arosa kanto le brigado ni inkoloso proto si kadili arese kende li broko zizani. Bless God. O roske diga ida ruzande e kurata ande gele brata ela. You are worthy to be praised. Jehovah Nisi, my banner. Our shield, our defense. You're not a man. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We exalt you. You're not a man. You're not a man. You're the God who opens doors. No man can shut. You're not a man. You're not a man. Worship this God. Karete ke yila yuda. Ayeki marose kendo. Barata kaya galusa sende. E mole ke rose si pali karande. Jesus, no one like you. We will bless you all our days. We will bless you all our days. We will bless you all the food, all the breath in our nostrils. We will bless you. We will bless you. We will bless you. CTM will worship you. CTM will worship you. O kata reboko zezeni eli karata kaporel kitoli o samoko taragida eke libarata ndegosi o sobo kotari paye kese ligadu o zima kando lekerende inka garo zika pakateli erete keyo lubo o meso kodo likarinde 
Lord, we are grateful. I worship you. Because we of worship you your name. Blessed be your we Holy worship Lord. your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What you do. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into our midst this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into our midst this morning. And Taribo Kozizani. This moment is all yours. This moment is all yours, Holy Spirit. The moment we used to worship you today, the whole service is yours. The whole service is yours, Holy Spirit. Brethren, build up yourself in your most holy faith. Speak in the Spirit. Rakata Yebego. Eresa Kunabarata Gedilia. Holy Spirit is here. Arataka Yeboroko Zizani. Build up yourself in your most holy faith. Speaking in tongues. Karata Gila. E Karosa Pareke. E Yika Susa Parasan de Geliboroko Zizani. Akilaro de Geliboroko Deni. Akotara Kadeliko Rezeni. E Katara Bakata Rakete Reko Ziza. E Pulaka Ziza. Power is here. The spirit of excellence is here. The spirit of life is here. The spirit of life is here. O Kotara, O Kotara, Kante, Geliboroko Ziza. Spirit of life is here. Spirit of life is here. Arente colibro cosizani. Akura pote. E yeke luto zonde. Arusa kila para teke tiro koyede. E kuta rata pika susani. Akolebre kendo leko susale. E torebo kosiza. We run through it true. By you we leap over walls. This is the day that you have Thank you for breaking in pieces, gates of brass, for cutting in sunder bars of iron. Bless hey, Lord, you are the God of all flesh. Holy Spirit, we welcome. There is nothing too hard for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome. Thank you, O Lord, for the Holy Spirit, we welcome. Holy Spirit, for your presence. Without Holy your presence, Spirit, we, we will do nothing. We worship Holy you. Spirit, we welcome you. We acknowledge you. Holy Spirit, Thank we welcome you. you. Are here Thank to you. To Thank you for to me healing. healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for your power of faith. Thank you for your words of knowledge. Thank you for your wisdom that is settling upon men. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the spirit of discernment. Thank you for the spirit of prophecy. Thank you for speaking in time. Thank you for interpretation of tongues. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Jesus. No one like you. Please sing along. Le carota carato carasicata. Playa uno. No one like you. Rataka lode. E coraza bata. Rakate. E yakuna garasi sande. Like you, Jesus, no one like you. 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 No
For mercy this morning. Let's declare that the mercy of Almighty God will come upon our lives. Make Karote Geli Broko Sisani. Let's ask for mercy. Let's ask for mercy. Makote Repoko Legeri Zazina. Ekulara Tende. Ask for mercy. Batore Gesisani. Apulare Tegedo. Ask for mercy. Mercy that overrides judgment. Malosi Kande. The greatness of man is by his mercy. O Koleri Katori. Aso Saka Dilaro Tegedili. Ask for mercy. Akore Tegeli. And his mercy is endured forever. Akore Tandogeli Brokosi Zaninda. Ayeki Laroze Gele. Ekule Roboto Roto Gose Zida. Ekure Tele Broko Deli Kaziza. Ask for mercy. Upon Michael, upon Victor, upon Emmanuel. Upon every member of ask for mercy, ask for mercy, ask for mercy, ask for mercy. Akotale Kurete Kata, the state of Texas, the nation of America, Marete Kelly for nations all over the world, Ekurata, Lake Yekosisani, Hadmes, let your grace and favor go with us. Akole Pita, let your mercy wipe away our iniquities for every wrong thought, word, action. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. We ask for mercy. Mercy, Lord. 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 By mercy, your sin may not be your mercy, into your account. Make our mountain to stand strong. By your mercy, cause us to Let prevail. Mercy flow. By your mercy, Let cause mercy us to flow. overcome. Let by your mercy, mercy flow. Let our sins Let be it get us for forgiveness of sin. By your blood, Jesus. Let it wipe away iniquity. Let every judgment Let wipe away be cancelled and erased by your mercy. Every judgment, evil prophecy, be cancelled by the mercy of every God. Every word of evil, evil be wiped decree, away. Evil declaration, evil attacks, be cancelled by the mercy of God. Let mercy prevail against judgment. We ask for mercy in our finance, in Thank our homes, in our marriage. Yes, Lord. Just ask the Lord. Lord, open my eyes. Open my heart. Open my eyes, open my heart in the name of Jesus. Lord, open my eyes, open my heart. Lord, we worship your name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we have our seat, please? Lord, we worship your name. Holy Spirit will bless you.
Praise the Lord. Thank you, our dear Father in the Lord, for this privilege. And to every leader in the house, may the Lord continue to strengthen us in Jesus' name. So this is our this is upper room, and it's more inclined for the workers. So uh, whatever we're discussing here is, is supposed to be real food. It's supposed to be hard food uh, for matured minds. And that's classic because milk uh, is for babes. Praise the Lord. Uh, so I, I'll just give us a little charge, and it, it, it's titled, Lock Yourself in a Covenant with God. So this morning, I, I just want to challenge us to lock ourselves in a covenant with God. Lock yourself in a covenant with God. What's a covenant? It's a binding agreement between two people. You could have a covenant where the two parties are equal. But in this case, we are in a covenant where one party is actually my creator. And so we, we don't have equal potency. We don't have equal power. And so uh, in, in this scenario, the way God relates with man from generation to generation at, has been true covenant. If you look at the scriptures, if we read the Bible all through from Genesis to Revelation, it has been an explanation of covenant of God with his people. So the Bible is summarily a book of covenant, covenant relationships. In fact, that's why the Bible is broadly divided into old covenant and new covenant, the so-called testament. And a covenant is an eternal promise. It's an eternal relationship. Uh, we, we need to understand that the salvation we took, the salvation we got, the commitment we made that made us a worker is actually a covenant-based relationship. And that is why we need to challenge ourselves to always fulfill the part of our covenant. You cannot claim to be in a relationship with the Holy Spirit if you do not acknowledge that covenant, if you do, don't accept the covenant. Um, permit me to read these three scriptures. Uh, Psalms 103 verses 17 to 18. Well, um, let, let me just read. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness... His righteousness is from one cho- as in from generation to generation. That's children's children. To such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. So, the mercy of the Lord is from generation to generation on simply those who keep his what? Covenant and those who keep his commandments. So, uh, let me give you a typical example. You, you see some old parents that they, they, they are devoted their life to service in God, praying, and you're wondering, a lot of things didn't really happen to them. But you now see their children blossoming. You see their children in different nations of the world calling the shot. Their children rising and, and making history. And you're wondering what happened. It is because the mercy of the Lord travels from generation to generation. Jacob that we're talking about that became a nation. The promise did not land on Jacob. We all know that. The promise came as far as Abraham. So, whatever you're doing today, the covenant you're cutting with God today will not only end on my generation. It will not end on my son. It will not end on my son's son or children's children. Praise the Lord. And I'm challenging us today so that we will know that taking our service in this house to a higher level... It's not about us. It's, you need to think about your generation. You need to know that the God you serve is a transgenerational God. And whatever covenant you're cutting with him, with your diligent service, with your diligent fellowship with him, with obeying his instruction, is actually a transgenerational advantage. And what I am saying literally is that you are positioning the destiny of your children's children. Praise the Lord. Psalms 25 verses 14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. And he will show them his covenant. And I put to you today. That means not all of us understand the covenant of God fully. That is, there is a realm of the general covenant that is available. But there is some that God will have to show you personally. Praise the Lord. So that means the deeper you go in relationship with God, the deeper will be the covenant that will come to you. 
And for us to understand the concept of covenant very well, I decided to just step back a bit because there are several covenants in the Bible from Adamic uh, to Noahic to Abrahamic covenant to Mosaic covenant and to Davidic covenant. And you could guess the names of those. And now we are operating both in the new covenant and the everlasting covenant, making seven general covenants theologically. Uh, however, I will dwell most of my discussion on the new covenant and the everlasting covenant, which is covering almost everything. But for us to get it properly, let's read Deuteronomy 7 verses 9. Therefore know that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant. So God always keeps covenant. He's the one who initiates covenant. He's the one who brings about the promises and is the one who keeps it. In fact, he's the one who will enable me to keep his covenant. I hope we know that. Without his empowerment, there's no way I can even match up to those, the standard of his covenant. So, and that's why I, t I said from the beginning that God is bigger and is my creator. And so, I'm in a covenant with a system that is actually larger than I. And his mercy will be from, for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandment. We're back to the concept of loving him and keeping his commandment. He repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack with him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore, you shall keep the commandment, the statute, the judgment, which I command you today to observe them. Verses 12. Then it shall come to pass, because you listen to this judgment and keep to them, that the Lord your God will be with you. We, 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 the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which is swore to your fathers. He will love you and bless you and multiply you. It will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain and your new wine and your oil, and the increase of your cattle and offspring of your flock in the land in which he swore to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all the peoples. There shall not be male or female barren among you and among your livestock. And the Lord will take away from you sickness and will the sickness that will afflict you and none of the terrible diseases of Egypt which you have known but we lay them on all those who hate you so I proceed to you today I proceed to us today that all we need to do is just align perfectly with God's covenant lock yourself up in a covenant relationship with him and most things that you pray and yearn for you possibly will not need to waste energy on them praise the Lord Praise the Lord. Please, I, I want to have our attention. I'd already explained that God deals with Christians based on covenant. Of course, you would have heard about the mercy of God extended to unbelievers. That is mercy. But in a relationship, God expects covenant. Marriage is also a similar covenant. I'm sure we know that. But of course, in this case, it's between two equal parties. In the presence of a third partner that is God. Now, let me, let me open our eyes a bit. The devil always seeks to break covenant between man and God. So, the, the battle in this life has always been a contest between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the enemy, the, the devil. So, and man is in between. You always have the choice. You always have the choice to pledge your allegiance to either party. And so, when you Propose in your heart to make a covenant with God, then you are aligning with his kingdom and you are denouncing your allegiance to the kingdom of this world, the kingdom of the enemy. And that's what God is seeking. A covenant would have four basic uh, properties or features. Uh, there will be the terms and the condition of the, of the covenant. There will be the promises. There will definitely be exchange of life. That's a relationship, a communion. And there will be a seal or a token. And to the glory of God, the blood of Jesus is our token. Is our seal in this covenant. The blood of Jesus is our what? Is our seal for this covenant. And that's the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. For us to get the idea of the new covenant. Hebrews 8 uh, verses 7 to 10. I read. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. Because finding fault with them, it says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day which I took them by hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they did not continue in my covenant. 
The whole covenant required you to walk before you can believe. And I disregarded them, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind. So the law of the Lord is now purported to be in our heart, in our mind. And write them on their heart. I will be their God and they shall be my people. So the standard of the new covenant is that the Lord will put his laws and his principles and precepts in our hearts. We will have a circumcised and a disciplined heart to be able to follow the covenant of God. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. And because we know that there are terms and conditions, I just need us to run through the, the terms. Because in this kingdom, any greatness you would achieve would be by covenant relationship with God. So what I'm literally saying is that enough of freelancing Christianity, enough of submarine-based Christianity, a Christianity that shows up on Sunday on the surface of the ocean, goes down from Sunday evening to anything, maybe wakes up a little bit Wednesday evening, returns back that same evening, and comes back Sunday morning. Submarine. It is time for us to show ourselves completely for Christ. It's time for us to be fully committed. You cannot be a freelancer in this kingdom. You are either completely alleged to this kingdom or you are out. And when you are freelancing, you are cutting a lot of corners, breaking a lot of covenant practices. This thing requires diligence. It requires devotion, dedication, determination, consistency, discipline. There is no two way about it. If you are going to be great, it has to come through discipline. It has to come through strength of character. It has to come through excellent thinking. John 15 verses 7. If I abide in you and my word, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you will ask anything. But the question is, we do, we have, do we actually understand the concept of my word abiding in you? That is, I have devoured the whole word of God. I have meditated on that word day and night. I have understood the core principles in it. So when you ask and you don't get, have you, have, have you made sure that you are so in-depth in the word? You need deep understanding of the word. It's a covenant relationship to read the word of God daily. It's a daily pursuit. If you keep skipping, you're breaking the covenant. It's a covenant relationship to pray always and pray in the spirit. If you fail to be sensitive to your spiritual atmosphere and declare words to your spirit daily, you are breaking the covenant and you are outside. If you do not have a lifestyle of fasting, you are breaking the covenant. It's a covenant practice. It's a covenant relationship unto greatness, to fast. To fast from food, to fast from sex, even if you are married. It's a covenant relationship. It's something you need to discuss with God in your fellowship. It's a covenant relationship to have fellowship time with the Holy Spirit daily. You cannot claim to have someone as your father and you're not relating with him. It is a covenant relationship to lead a holy life, to be sensitive, Galatians 5, 16 to 18, to live and walk by the Spirit. Those who are led by the Spirit do things differently. It's a covenant relationship to have seeds to sow to the kingdom of God. You should not be coerced to have to pay tithe. You should not be coerced to have to pay seeds to have to give offerings. It's a covenant-based relationship that I will support the work of my father, the kingdom of God. It's a covenant relationship. It's a covenant relationship to give your service in an excellent format to God. It's a covenant-based relationship. 
It's a covenant-based relationship to preach the word, to be instant in season and out of season. When you're not doing these things, and trust me, everything I'm still mentioning, they are in the general-based covenant. Because the secret of the Lord is another realm. It's also a covenant-based relationship to, to, to have spiritual mentorship. To be mentored spiritually. You cannot just be a man standing alone. You must be under the covering of some spiritual fathers. You must be locked in a covenant relationship with them. The anointing of the Lord would only come. The power and the wisdom and the dominion that comes with the anointing will only come when you are aligned perfectly with covenant practices. Anytime you derail from this, just know that there are, there, are, there are consequences for falling out of the covenant. And let me also say this. It's also a covenant practice for us to have mental transformation, to develop our minds, to read, to learn, to know. Because my people perish for lack of knowledge. They are actually God's people, but they can perish. Because they failed to learn. They failed to expand their mind. They failed to renew their minds daily. If you fail out of covenant, you are exposed. We can see that in Adamic covenant. When Adam and Eve goofed, what happened to them? They became naked instantly. They knew they were naked. They became exposed to the vials of the enemy. And so a lot of complaints we make today are actually because of being exposed, being naked. The edge had been broken. Once you fall out of covenant, righteousness is gone. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. Romans, I think, 14, 6, 17. It is righteousness, it is peace, and it is joy. So immediately you break out of the kingdom of God. You will lose your righteousness. You will lose your peace and you will lose your joy. Anytime you notice those things are gone, know that you are out of covenant. Just know. So anytime you are anxious, worried, and you have lost composure and calmness of your life, note that you are out of the covenant of God. Praise the Lord. And of course, once you are out, you are already a sinner. Uh, uh, turmoil comes, sorrow comes, depression can come. Faith, the absence of faith shows that you are out of the covenant. And that's the presence of fear, worries, and anxiety. When you are out of the covenant, you will lose revelation and instruction from God. And that means you have lost the place of fellowship. You will get revelation and instruction from the place of fellowship. And so once you don't have clarity about a circumstance, once it is not revealed to you, then you need to return back to the place of fellowship. Which also includes the place of mentorship. And then you will lose dominion. You will lose power. You will lose excellence. You will lose wisdom. During the week, I was brooding on a circumstance. And the Holy Spirit opened my heart and told me that do you know that if anybody comes to disrespect you, you have actually done something that made you lose credibility in the eyes of that person. Depending on the values of that person. And in my mind, I'm like, so, my respect and honor as represented to another person is a function of the value that the person is able to perceive about me. And it's yes. When you stay in covenant, you are able to maintain your place of wisdom, your place of excellence. It's just like once you break the edge, the serpent has the opportunity to strike. Once you break the places of value, once you have broken the principles of leadership, then it is easy for anything to creep in. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. I declare this day that the Lord will teach us to number our days and give us a heart of wisdom, a heart that is committed towards him in the name of Jesus. Can we rise, can we rise up to the Lord and ask that the Lord will strengthen us to be able to live Totally with his covenant in the name of Jesus. We know that breaking his covenant is, 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 is horrendous, is wicked for us. And we do not want to be out of his covenant for a second. 
Let's declare that the Lord will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Likaso brande himoko zizani in the name of Jesus. Parise kande librata gale breki ando higa sisa in the name of Jesus. Ask for strength. Ask for strength. If you fail in the days of adversity, the answer is very simple. Your strength is little. The reason why you fail is actually because you have lost strength. Something has drained your energy. Something has drained your power. That is why you failed. Ask for strength this day. Ask for spiritual strength, mental strength. Ask for strength from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Masika and Dolebreketo, Linda Riba Kaziza, in the name of Jesus. Marisa Kelebroso Sandy, in the name of Jesus. Ask for strength from the Lord, that the Lord will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. We will live and align perfectly with the covenant of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We will lock ourselves in the covenant with God. And his secrets will be revealed unto us day by day in the name of Jesus. Ask that the Lord strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Masinde Kila Ruzabunda in the name of Jesus. I am strengthened of the Lord. I am strengthened of the Lord. I will not fail in the name days of adversity. I will not fall. I will not falter in the name of Jesus. Declare I will not fail. I will not falter. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. The Lord will strengthen me. The Lord will strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Lika Zibronte, Gelibra Sasa, Dandro Sikende, Hilika Ziza, Ereska Librotonde, Galibra Tadi, Arise Kindo Libra Kazizani, Ereze Kelubrotonda, Lai Kaziza, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalms 92, verses 10. But my horn you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. You have anointed, I have been anointed with fresh oil. Let's declare this morning that I am anointed with fresh oil in the name of Jesus. I am anointed with fresh oil. I'm anointed with fresh enablement. I am anointed with fresh capacity in the name of Jesus. I am anointed. The Lord will anoint you with fresh oil in the name of Jesus. You will easily fulfill the terms of the covenant of God in the name of Jesus. Marata zekando lebro kosizani areze keli bratande gara suzani I am anointed with fresh oil my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn in the name of Jesus I have goodly heritage in the name of Jesus my horn is exalted I am exalted in the name of Jesus I have upon me fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil in the name of Jesus Oh brata sikande lekurata zibre in the name of Jesus, I declare fresh oil, fresh oil in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Marisa Kendo Libroko Zizani, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 92 verses 12 to 14, the righteous shall flourish like palm tree, he shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of their God. It is, it is pertinent for you to be planted in the house of the Lord. It is critical for the covenant for you to be planted in the house of the Lord. Wherever else you're worshipping God, be planted. When you're planted, you're connected to the source. Be planted and be grounded because it is part of the terms for you to flourish. And when you're planted in the house of the Lord, you shall flourish in the court of your God. We shall bear fruit in old age. We shall be fresh and we shall flourish. Let's declare that I am planted in the court of my God. In the name of Jesus. Just declare it. I am planted. I am planted in the name of Jesus. I am planted in the Lassica. I am planted in the house of the Lord. Likorante, Pliga, Zuzani, Ikarote, Keila. Does it mean you won't have challenges? Yes, you will. But you will survive them because you're planted. Barase katoli, garatoli, e rosi kende, barate kalibro koziza, e kirando galika susa, e rosi kante, balika rote gende, in dalika truza bora dende, e kalebre getuli, garase seni, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, we worship your name. Let's begin to declare greatness upon Christ Touch Ministries. Speak into the future of this ministry. Speak into the future of this ministry. CTM is expanding. 
CTM is enlarging. CTM is going global. It's the home of anointed men. In the name of Jesus. It's a discipleship ministry. Great men of God are rising from this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Masage lebro tokayele endoreka sisani. Barataka lebre ketuli. Pre kaluta reke dolika razeze. Arosaka lebro koteli. Declare into the future of this ministry. Ikarote galiborande galatare in the hiko sisani. Barete kalindo harika sisani. Lord, we worship your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 